Hey guys, I'm back. I was requested to do an updated skincare routine. So pretty much everything's changed since the last video from my old channel. So I am doing my new one. Uh, let me just first say I appreciate your guys' compliments. You're all so sweet, but I, let me just say, do not have perfect skin. I don't have good skin. I have actually acne prone skin and I've been dealing with horrible breakouts lately. Um, here is where I've been breaking out lately, just really badly. And I've heard that's hormonal or stress, so I'm assuming it's one of the two. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, I don't have good skin, acne prone skin. I also have combination skin. So for those of you who see these products or are thinking of trying them out, I do have combination skin and I'm prone to acne. I have pretty sensitive skin. So um, yeah, let's get started. Well, the one thing that I don't have here with me is my daily face wash. I'm still at my mom's. Um, I have been using, I'm trying to think of how long it's been. It's been a while, probably since the last time, I don't know, the other video was posted. I actually, from my last video, that Neutrogena Acne line, I still love that. I absolutely love it. But the thing I didn't, actually, you know what? I don't even know if they make it anymore. Is that why I stopped using it? Either they didn't make it anymore, or one of my issues is that it came in a three pack. You had to buy the face wash, the acne lotion, and then their moisturizing lotion. I never used the moisturizing lotion ever, ever. So I literally ended up with like 10 of these little lotions that I never used. And for the price of the package, it was just ridiculous. Anyhow, that's still a great product. I was actually thinking because I'm thinking of switching up my face wash. I was actually thinking of going back to that. But then I'm like, didn't I stop using it because of that? Okay, moving on. So what I have been currently using is the Neutrogena Acne Face Wash, just their basic acne face wash. But instead of by Neutrogena, I just use uh, Walmart's generic, which is by Equate. And it's just their acne face wash. You can find it. I find it uh, obviously at Walmart. It's their generic. And usually it's just right next to the Neutrogena products. It's the same orange orangey soap looking solution. It's just their basic face wash and it's what I use on my face. Um, it works well for me because it just strips my face clean of anything that's on it, um, but it is drying, yeah. So I definitely think that I'm going to try something different because I definitely think that, I don't know, I, it works great. Like I said, it's kind of like a safety blanket for me to use and it's never broken me out and I feel like it does its job, but I definitely feel like it's a little drying and I think I need to switch something up. But And if I need uh, some exfoliation, uh, I use the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from Philosophy. Um, we have this big bottle here. This is my mom and sister's. They got it from QVC. So you can go to QVC.com to get this big bottle. They sell the regular size bottles at Sephora, wherever else that Philosophy, you that they sell Philosophy. Um, but this big bottle is what they have. I really like it. It gives me, I don't know, if I need just some, kind of just want to exfoliate my skin and it's feeling a little off, this stuff is great. It's never broken me out. Um, it just, it, yeah, it cleans your skin really, really well. It just has kind of those little tiny grindy beads in it and it just makes your fit skin feel better and refreshed afterwards. Um, again, they purchased this big bottle from QVC.com. So I believe that it's still available online there, this big bottle, if you want to purchase it. They've had this one for a long time. It lasts forever and a little bit goes a long way. And so after I wash my face, what I put on next is Neutrogena's Rapid Clear Acne Defense Face Lotion. Oil-free daily lotion visibly reduces breakouts in eight hours. So this is an all over face cream. It's not a spot treatment. To effectively maintain smooth, clear skin, use daily on entire face to treat breakouts quickly, help prevent future breakouts, and leave skin soft. So I, you can purchase this anywhere that they sell Neutrogena. I think I've gotten mine at Walmart and Target. I'm sure at Q, uh, QVC, CVS, Rite Aid, any of those places. This is what it looks like. I want to say I think this is like 7 or $8, something like that. It smells really good also. I love the smell. It, it kind of just has this pretty perfumey smell. So I just use this all over my face after I've washed it and it's been great. It hasn't broken me out, nor does this dry me out. So I really, really do like this product a lot. And next, to treat the big, huge suckers, the big demons <laughs> that I deal with right in here, 
Um, I use Neutrogena's Rapid Clear Acne Eliminating Spot Gel. That uh, lotion has 2% salicylic acid as well as this, but like I said, that's not drying. It's, it's weird. Anyhow, the one thing I don't like is look at this. Really? Why such a little bottle? It's such a little mini me. Yeah, so I would love a bigger bottle of Neutrogena if you could. So it's this, uh, this is what it looks like. And it also, I think I already said it, 2% salicylic acid. At night, before I go to bed, um, I will spot treat with this on the really big, yeah, it stings, but usually by morning, it really dries it out and it helps me a lot because I have been dealing with, yeah. And the one thing that I think is kind of funny is that these, I think, are the exact same price. <laughs> But it's like, look at the difference. So next, I use my Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. Um, this is another product that my sister turned me on to. It's, uh, she purchased it at Walgreens. And it's Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream, fragrance-free skin treatment and exfoliator to help gently restore a fat, a fess. A fresh, healthy, and more youthful appearance. Alpha Hydroxy Acid removes dead skin cells, assists skin tone and skin texture. It says it uh, can give a slight and temporary tingling, stinging effect. I've never experienced that. Um, let's see, it contains uh, alpha hydroxy acid and 8% uh, glycolic acid. It's great, I love this stuff. Um, you get this big jar. So I believe it's pretty inexpensive for a jar this size for an alpha hydroxy cream. It smells very kind of clean, well, kind of chemically. It kind of smells like an alcohol smell, but it's very, just, it goes on really well, absorbs into your skin. Um, I've noticed definitely a difference from using it. It just makes my skin feel good and it's great. So, um, and yeah, Walgreens. My sister said that it's kind of like, you kind of have to maybe, if you don't find it at one, look at another Walgreens because she's, when she has to go kind of restock, she's had to go to a couple different ones because it's probably, you know, a product a lot of people like, so they're sold out. But Walgreens Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream is what goes on to my skin after my acne lotion. And then after that, for my moisturizer, I use Philosophy's Hope in a Jar. I love this product. I think it's great. Um, it smells just very, very clean. That's what it looks like. It's very thick, as you can see. Uh, like I said, I love it. I think it's great, but I think I need more moisture to my skin. So I think I'm going to switch up and try something new. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, it's never broken me out, so it's been great for that whole thing. And if your skin isn't too dry or you don't need too much moisture, this may be great for you. But I definitely think that right now I need to switch up and try something else because I, I don't know, I just definitely feel like it's not doing its job like it was in the beginning. So, um, Philosophy's Hope in a Jar. This little jar, uh, I think was like $15 at Sephora. And you can find this at Sephora or anywhere that they sell philosophy, probably even qvc.com. Um, but like I said, I have, I can't really say anything bad about it. It's been a great moisturizer other than I think my skin right now just needs more moisture. So, but that is what I use after and as my moisturizer. And lastly, for an under eye cream, uh, I fortunately have never had a lot of problems with my under eyes. I don't have puffiness. I don't deal with bags. Um, I have slight discoloration but I don't really have any extreme problems with under eye wrinkles or crow's feet. I've been using under eye cream since I was 15 years old, um, just for fear of ever having that. So I've been using under eye creams forever. And I always switch it up. So I wanted to try something new. I went into Sephora and I asked the girl, you know, to, you know, what do you think is a good product? So she gave me a sample of <laughs> this product and it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It goes on really, really well. I've actually noticed a difference under my eyes. It's helped to brighten it up. The bottle is like 80 or $90. <laughs> it's the Alginist Under Eye Cream. And like I said, it's a wonderful product. It works really well, but I just can't see spending 80 or $90 on an under eye cream. For any of you who are perfectly fine with that, I would say go grab it. It's the Alginist Under Eye Cream and it works great. I love it. Um, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope this was informative for those of you who have asked. This is just what works for me. I'm not saying you have to use this but if you haven't subscribed please do and I hope you guys are having a great day. Please be kind to each other and I will see you in another video soon. Bye!